Hey, today in this short video, I will tell you about my favorite top VPN service. I've tested over 15 privacy systems and found the best one that worked perfectly for me. I have been working with this VPN for over 7 years. It has advanced features and is a very reliable and highly efficient assistant. Here are 5 very useful secrets that few people know about but which make it truly one of the most effective VPNs on the market. Now, take a close look at the screen, I'll show you everything with an illustrated example. VPN City is a nice and easy to use service that unblocks almost everything at a very reasonable price. A decent sized network, for example, with 3167 servers in 42 locations and 33 countries, and not only in Europe and North America. There are servers in Australia, Dominican Republic, Hong Kong, India, Jamaica, Japan, Morocco, Panama, Peru, Seychelles, and other countries. VPN City offers dedicated apps for Windows, Mac, Android, and iOS, as well as Chrome and Firefox extensions and setup guides to make the service work with game consoles, Raspberry Pi and more. If you regularly run into the concurrent connections limit of an existing VPN, good news, VPN City supports up to 12 concurrent connections depending on your plan. The company basically understands the features on offer very clearly. You don't have to dig into the small print, for example, to see if VPN City supports P2P. Yes, there is a link on the main landing page of the site to tell you more. And you don't have to wonder if it supports unlocking this service because the apps provide dedicated locations to stream Netflix, iPlayer, Disney and more. Prices are very reasonable. $9.99 per month for up to 6 devices, $5.99 for 6 months to cover up to 8, $3.99 protects up to 10 devices with an annual plan, and if you pay 2 years in advance, the price drops to $2.99 a month and you can cover up to 12 devices. That's not exactly a low figure, private internet access costs $2.85 a month for the first term of your annual plan, like $3.30 cents on renewal, but it's better than most and looks good for what you get. VPN City also supports a variety of payment methods, cards, PayPal, Alipay, Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies, and there is a 30-day money-back guarantee if you need it. VPN City claims it doesn't keep logs of its users' online activity. Most VPNs pre-state how much they protect your privacy and VPN City is no exception. We do not track your online activity, the site proudly states. No browser data, no credit card information, no IP addresses. Experience has taught us that many of these statements are rubbish, often contrary to VPN's own privacy policy, but VPN City is a different matter. Its fine print is really worth reading and includes some very specific details about the service and how it handles logs. Your activity is not tracked, recorded, logged, stored or shared with third parties. We do not store connection timestamps, session information, bandwidth use, traffic logs, IP addresses or other data. What's more, VPN City is based in Hong Kong, so no data storage is required. Of course, the VPN can write whatever it wants in its privacy policy. VPN City has no significant track record and since it hasn't undergone any public safety audits, there is no independent evidence to support it doing what it claims. Regardless, I have to applaud VPN City for at least putting in the time and effort to resolve some of our login and privacy issues and we hope to expand this further with independent auditing in the future. VPN City offers browser extensions as well as desktop and mobile apps. VPN City offers apps for Windows, Mac, iOS and Android as well as Chrome and Firefox extensions. Mobile apps have had decent ratings in the App Store and both had been updated in the past three months, indicating that the company is trying to maintain and improve them. In VPN CD settings, you can select your preferred protocol and enable the emergency switch. A small but functional set of settings include additional ad blocking, protocol selection, easy firewall traversal to penetrate more restrictive firewalls, various auto start options and more. There is no automatic option in the application when it chooses the fastest server for you, which means that you have to decide for yourself. However, I found that it put our closest UK server at the top of the list of locations, so it only took one extra click to connect. 
Connection times were short for OpenVPN, typically 4 or 5 seconds. Some VPNs take 10, 30 seconds and while it may not seem like much longer, the minimum latency can have a significant impact on your experience. The app used its own desktop notifications to tell us when it connected but not when the connection closed. I noticed one glaring error. While I could have selected OpenVPN in the settings, if I later reopen and close the settings again, the application then connects using soft tether, although it still displays OpenVPN as the selected protocol. While this is not a disaster in and of itself, it is still worrisome because I don't know if the error might have other consequences. For example, the application tries to apply its OpenVPN port and other settings to the soft ether connection. However, when I check the application's OpenVPN configuration, everything looked very acceptable. With connections using AES-256 CBC and 4096 bit key. This app does a poor job of handling dropped VPN connections. When I forcibly closed mine, it refreshed its interface but it showed no notification or attempts to reconnect. If the application window were minimized, you might not realize that your traffic is now unsecured. Turning on the emergency switch has greatly improved the situation. Whenever the VPN goes down, it immediately blocks any internet access keeping us safe. However, the app still didn't alert me with a notification. It displayed a message and a reconnect to the internet button on its own window, but again, it is minimized. Users will not understand why the internet died until they return to it. I also looked at the Android app and found a nearly identical interface with equally well thought out server list streaming servers, favorite systems and more. The app doesn't have many features, no server ping times, no support for the soft either protocol, which makes it a little weak, but overall it's still efficient and easy to use. VPN City offers dedicated servers to unblock popular streaming services. VPN City doesn't just claim to unblock the best websites, it actually commits to do so with dedicated locations so you can access many popular platforms. I found that they work great too, allowing me to stream Netflix, Disney Plus and BBC iPlayer in the US without any problems. There is no dedicated server for Amazon Prime Video, but I found that the US Netflix location works fine. There are also generic other streaming devices point to unlock other platforms in the US, UK and Australia and the first one gave us access to Amazon as well. VPN City is a cute service with great unlocking performance, easy to use and reliable, albeit not impressive speed for just under $3 a month on its two-year plan.